Good morning, it's Jean. Just wanted to do a quick yard sale haul. And John's going to show you something that he got today for $2 that he is absolutely thrilled over. He got this little train set. and Didn't you say it was made in Germany? Yeah. Made in Germany for only $2. And all the pieces are inside. It has all the little uh, die cut pieces, the locomotives on the wheels. And it says precision built, a German quality toy runs on two batteries. So it was a find, and it's just cute as it can be. Then we got this cute piece. This was a Victorian mirror, and it has the, kind of set it up because it's jar jarring on the, yeah. See, it has the little holder there to put the combs and brushes in it and to hang a towel off of it. And we did pay $10 for that, but things like that are really getting hard to find. Then right here, got another croc. You know I can't resist crocs, especially if they're a good buy, and that was only $5. I got me some more reading material for a quarter apiece. This was something else John was really tickled to get, was a framed Oldsmobile advertisement. What year is that, John? Uh, 1938. 1938, so he was really pleased with that, and it, the, the advertisement's in really good shape. Then we got some old Christmas stuff. Got this old um, angel hair angel tree topper, and that was in the box. That was, I can't remember now whether that was a dollar or two dollars. Got the little um, Santa music box. That's vintage. And this adorable little angel. Look at that little mischievous face on that little cute angel bell. And then here's a cute little bunny cup. What does it say inside of it, John? Or tilt it up so they can see. All gone. Okay, hold it. Hold it. Let me film it inside. Look at that. All gone when they drank it all. And it was had somebody's I, initials. Hell. Little Easter cup. Isn't that adorable? Where was it made? Lord Nelson Potter in England. Oh, that was an English cup. I think that was like 25 cents or 50 cents, something like that. A stool. And got that nice little primitive stool. That was only $2.00. And the great thing about it, it's real wood. It's not pretend wood, as I call it. Then I got this pink depression glass candy jar uh, for $2. That's really not my thing, but I could not leave it sitting there for $2. So uh, that was a great find today. And all these pieces of cut glass, that also was only $2. The bottle was $2. That's another vintage bottle. We love old bottles. And... You gotta have a little age on you like I do to remember when everybody used to take the little sprinkler heads and stick them down, has a cork, stick it down in the old drink bottles and you actually sprinkled your clothes before you ironed them so you could get all the wrinkles out because there was no such thing as wrinkle resistant fabric back in them days. So that was $2 also. Then I got another bobbin, that was $2. We got a whole box of old canning jars that was ten dollars there was five jars in them and one of them even has the old wooden spools in it see those two are clear then there's a blue one and then there's a blue smaller one the bluish green and then another clear and a lot of you may not know what these two little things with the black tops on them are but those were to fit down in a desk. Old wood desk. What does it say on it? Does it have a name or anything? American Seating Company. American Seating Company. So those were in old school desks. And if you ever come across the old school desk, it's really hard to find these little ink uh, bottle holders. So Then got these two pieces of cute blue cobalt glass. They were $2 a piece. They were in the same box as the little ink wells. Uh, they were $2 a piece. Then this piece here, where was that made, John? Dr. Mary K. Kelt Keltner Hohen. 1914? I can't make that out, but... Uh, it's dated 1914. 
Yeah. Show them the different sides of it. All right, that's one side. Twirl it around. He's a frowny guy. He is eat. Is he eating? Yawning. Yawning. He's yawning. He's smiling. And he's smiling. I think those are supposed to be monks. Yeah. So that could be a good piece. I don't know, but there again, for two dollars, it was unusual, and I couldn't leave it. Then something that I'm really tickled, even though it is not in pristine shape, is this little bunny alphabet plate. Those are the same little rabbits that are on some of our antique um, Easter tins that we have. That from uh, was it Tendico that made them? Yeah. I think Tendico made the. Uh, candy tins. Let me show a close-up of the face of that. Look at that. And then on the back, uh, the woman that we bought all this old stuff from said this was her mother-in-law. And the lady we bought it from, she was an older lady. And on the back, there's a label that says Western Germany plate from my childhood. Yeah. Oh, pl my plate as a child. So that is really cute. I love that. And then John got a lock for something. I'm not sure what. And then we got, let me see if I can get back so you can see this tall cabinet. I don't think I can get a whole view of that in there. Got this whole cabinet for $4. Open it up and show them. It has adjustable shelves. Yeah, you can move the shelves around. John's going to uh, paint it so that I can use it for storage. Heaven knows where I'm going to put it, but there again, for $4, I could not leave that. So this is our yard sale finds for the day. We were really pleased uh, at what we found. It started out really slow, but that last sale where the older lady had all this old vintage stuff, that made up for it. So hope you all have had a great day today. Till the next time, bye.